What's going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV, back with another match preview down here from the Emirates Stadium, a sunny Emirates Stadium. And uh, listen, today is the biggest game of the season. One of the biggest games in years for Arsenal. Arsenal against Bayern Munich. A chance to get revenge, man, for the 10-2 defeats that we've had over years gone by. Massive game. And uh, listen, a real benchmark opportunity for Arsenal to show whether they've progressed as much as we think and can they mix it with Europe's elite. We are back in the Champions League. We've played some good teams this year, but I don't think we've played any of that top table team yet. This is the first major, major test in Bayern Munich. And uh, how are you feeling? Looking forward to the game and hoping that we can win. Um, it's going to be amazing in here tonight. 60,000 Arsenal fans. Obviously, Bayern Munich fans are banned from entering this stadium tonight. They threw fireworks onto the pitch against Lazio. UEFA have banned any away fans from coming into this stadium tonight. So, 60,000 here. The atmosphere will be all Arsenal and they need to take advantage of it. And I think what will decide whether Arsenal make it to the semi-final of the Champions League will be what happens tonight. I think Arsenal need to go to Germany with a lead. They need to beat Bayern Munich tonight. Um, I've always said I think they need probably a two goal lead ideally but listen even a one goal lead would be a positive at this stage especially with the way we're defending could we go to the Allianz Arena maybe get a draw I think we're capable of it um, let's have a brief look at Bayern Munich second in the league 16 points behind Bayer Leverkusen the league title is gone for them the German Cup they're out of that as well it is literally all or nothing for Bayern Munich in terms of trophies this season Harry Kane 100 million pound move trophyless has he brought the Tottenham effect with him to Bayern Munich? And uh, he will be looking to prove a point. Former Tottenham player, one of the best strikers in the world. And um, what I keep saying to Arsenal fans is approach this game with caution. A lot of Arsenal fans are very excited. You know, Bayern Munich are out of form. They were beaten at the weekend 3-2 after leading 2-0. They lost to Dortmund last week at home. I think psychologically, every time they play a Bundesliga game now, their mind is not in the right frame of mind. I've been in that situation, you're playing, the title's gone, your enthusiasm for that competition drops. This is all or nothing for them. Manager Thomas Tuchel is going in the summer, he is being sacked. There's rumours of Alfonso Davis leaving to go to Real Madrid, Joshua Kimmich being linked with Arsenal and Manchester City talking about he wants to move to the Premier League. Musiala has refused a contract extension. It could be all change at Bayern Munich this summer. But this is their opportunity to rescue their season. And they will be dangerous. Now, uh, Manuel Neuer, Leroy Sané um, weren't involved at the weekend. Neither was Kingsley Coman. The manager described them as 50-50 for the game against Arsenal. We'll find out tonight when the team news comes out. Was it mind games or is it genuine? They have got quality. Kane, Musiala, former Arsenal player Gnabry, Thomas Muller, obviously Leroy Sané. They're going to be dangerous. We're going to have to do our job uh, and we're going to have to go up to another level to beat this Bayern Munich team. However, however, they do have weaknesses. They've conceded a lot more goals than usual this season. Upper Meccano has been a loose cannon at times, been sent off on a number of occasions. Kimmich has gone back to playing at right back. I think he can be got at. He's a fantastic player, but I think the likes of Martinelli could cause him a lot of problems. Kim Min Jae has come in, he's a good player, but this defence has been unstable. Alfonso Davis, fantastic, one of the quickest players in the world. Sancho cooked him the other week, twisting and turning. So, you know, and Eric Dyer has actually started games for them this season, and we know how bad he is. Arsenal need to get at this Bayern Munich defence. I think they're a good team. I think they do lack energy at times. They have conceded a lot of goals. They haven't been that convincing. Even when Manchester United went to the Allianz Arena, they scored goals against them and they troubled them. We have got the best defence in the Premier League and the best attack in the Premier League. Oh, that might be win the dog running by barking. Um, but listen, we need to get at this Bayern Munich defence. Don't be scared of them. Respect them, but don't be scared of them. I believe we can beat Bayern Munich. Um, let's look at Arsenal. We're in fantastic form at the moment. Top goal scorers in the Prem, best defence in the Prem. In the Champions League, we're going to have to go up to another level. When we went to Porto, we weren't convincing, we lost the game. When we went to Lons, 
we weren't convincing, we lost the game. We've shown little weaknesses in the Champions League away from home, maybe trying to control the game too much, but not necessarily hurting the opposition as much. Even in the Porto home game, we got the first goal, we weren't able to go and get the second and the third. We ended up going to penalties. If we go 1-0 up tomorrow night, I don't want to see Arsenal retreat and say, oh, we'll take a 1-0 lead to the Allianz Arena. I want to see Arsenal say, we can score a second, we can score a third, we can put Bayern Munich on the back foot going into that return leg. It's going to be vital. The atmosphere is going to be electric. And I honestly think any Arsenal fan that's inside this stadium tonight, you're going to be lucky. I think you're going to be treated to a special occasion. I think outside of maybe Manchester United at home um, in the Champions League semi-final when we lost, maybe the Barcelona game when we came back, or Shavin. You know, I think this could be one of the most special atmospheres in Champions League history that we've had at this stadium. Obviously, we had great nights at Highbury. Um, but I think we're capable of beating them. I think we need to grab that advantage and use the fact we've got 60,000 fans inside the stadium. What team would you go for? I'm going to give you my team. I want to know your teams in the comments. There's no time for sentiment. It's as simple as that. Pick your best team and beat them. David Rea starts in goal. The back four. Ben White at right back. Tommy Asu plays at right back. Kivior, you've done well. You've done okay. Zinchenko, you're decent on the ball. If Sane, Gnabry, Musiala, whoever's on that right hand side, I need the best defensive left back out of the three to play. And that is Takahiro Tommy Asu. He starts for me at left back. Absolutely no doubt about it. Gabriel and Ben Gabriel and Saliba play centre back. Ben White obviously at right back, as we said. The midfield might be controversial. I'm going for it. Thomas Partey, Declan Rice, Martin Odegaard. Jorginho has done well this season, but I want that energy and I want that power. Uh, not necessarily the most energetic Thomas Partey, but I still think he's a bit quicker than Jorginho. I just think if we play Partey and Rice, not only can we outplay them, we can outpower them. My one concern with Jorginho is a mobile midfield with somebody like Musiala drifting on the ball. Will he struggle? He has done well this season, but this is crunch time. No time for sentiment. I'm playing Thomas Partey, Declan Rice and Martin Odegaard. The front three is interesting. Gabriel Jesus did well against um, Manchester City with his defensive work. I thought he did really well against Brighton. Won the penalty, got forward well. He's done well in the Champions League. If he's fit, depending on what the issue is, was that foot injury worse than we thought? I'm playing Gabriel Martinelli and I'm telling him, go and rip Kimmich or Conrad Lehmar apart at right back. He's the quickest player in our attack and I'm playing Martinelli. I'm playing Saka on the right, huge game for him. In front of the lights, eyes of the world looking, he needs to turn up. And unbelievably, maybe not so unbelievable now, Kai Havertz starts through the middle. Bayern Munich tried to sign him in the summer. He'll be fired up for this game as a former Leverkusen player. His hold up play, his chance creation, his ability to make good chances for himself every game will be vital. He's had a lot of praise over the last few weeks. I've called him Killer Kai, Dipset Settings, Killer Cam, Harlem, New York. We need to see Killer Kai tomorrow night. I personally think Arteta might play Gabriel Jesus on the left because of his performances in the last few weeks, because of the performances he's done in the Champions League and his experience. And I still just wonder whether Martinelli is fully fit. Um, I'm going to go for a 3-1 victory. I'm going to go for it. I think we'll score first, shock them a little bit, maybe score again. Maybe they'll get a goal back. Maybe we'll get another one. I'm going to go for a 3-1 win um, against Bayern Munich. I was thinking about 2-1, but I'm here. I'm in the moment. It's match day. I'm going for 3-1. Arsenal, create history tonight. Turn this into one of the best atmospheres we've had in years. Go for Bayern Munich and prove that you belong at that top table. For us to beat Munich, I think we need to go to Germany with a couple goals advantage. I would take a goal advantage, but I think two is gonna be necessary. In the comments, give me your starting 11. Is it controversial of me to play Tommy Asu ahead of Kivior and Zinchenko? Is it controversial that I would play part A next to Declan Rice? Who would you play on that left-hand side? And what is your score prediction? Biggest game of the season. Come on, Arsenal. I'm going for 3-1. Let's get to the Champions League semi-final against City or Madrid. Like the video, subscribe. I'll see you all soon, people. Bless.